So what are the external features of the worms? You know about it. The morphological features I'm talking about. Segmented body. Yes. It's very evident from the picture. It's very evident. Evident, right? They have segmented body. Uh, if I just ask you about the shape, is it uh, like flat, oval? How is it? I would describe this as cylindrical body. Correct? Cylindrical. And do you remember about the concept of metamerically segmented body? Yes. Come on. I want you to answer what's metameric segmentation. What is metameric segmentation? Yes. Come on. Keep answering. So, cylindrical body, they have segmentation. To be more precise and specific, metameric segmentation, right? Almost 100 to 120 segments are present in their body. Got it? Well, some recurring terms, we are going to use this extensively. So it's better we keep ourselves well aware of these terms. Dorsal, it's from above, ventral from below, correct? Got it? This is the anterior, that's the front end. This is the posterior, that's the back. This is the front, anterior, the front. Posterior, back, dorsal, above, ventral, below. Uh, how do you remember this? It's, it's often we tend to forget these facts, these concepts rather. Uh, well, we can do is anterior, A comes first, so front. Posterior, P comes later in the alphabets, right? So back. Now, similarly, dorsal and ventral. Dorsal, dorsal is coming, D is coming before right v so d is above a right and ventral it's coming later so below <laughs> nice right so you can definitely try out these type of tricks which is very essential for you to remember lots of biological concepts great okay so now let me show you the dorsal surface they bear the they have the median line they bear the median line see do you see that the dark dorsal median line, right? You know, it's a dorsal blood vessel. Correct? Take a look. Dorsal blood vessel. Dorsal. Okay. Now let me show you something which is present ventrally. Ventral surface bears the genital apertures. Let me show you the male pore first. Do you see the male pores? Yes. And can you see the female pore? Yes, I can see it. There's a pore again. It's a very clear picture. This is the female pore. Okay, got it? The ventral surface, it bears the genital pores. There in the dorsally, we saw the, let me show you once again, median line. Okay, the dorsal blood vessel. Ventrally, you saw the genital pores, the male and the female. Got it? Now, if you observe, there's something bulging. Okay, what is this bulge? What is this bulge which is present in the worms, the earthworms? You know what? I think we have already talked about this. The bulge. In earthworms, it is known as the clitellum. Very important. Note it down. Questions are asked about this. Clitellum. Okay. In much mature worms, you will find this. Where is it? Yes, this is the clitellum. This is the clitellum over here. Great. See here, properly, I'm marking it. Do you see the clitellum? It's a bulge structure. It's a prominent dark band. It's a prominent dark band. You know, it has the glandular tissues. Do you remember glandular tissues? We have studied this in a previous session. Glandular tissues. Well, nice. And now these animals, this animal, this earthworm I'm talking about, they were segmented body and we have named the segment, rather numbered the segments. And this is precisely present in the 14th to the 16th segment. Please note it down. This is very important. Where is the clitellum present? Which segments are basically comprising of the clitellum? It's 14th to the 16th segment. Got it? Yes. Well, all the things I'm telling you that you have to note it down, Please note it down because this is very important. Clitellum. Often it is questioned on. Very important for your neat examination. 14th to 16th segment. 
Okay. Well, so now if it is present somewhere in the 14 to the 16 segment, now based on the clitellum, can we differentiate into different parts? Yes, different parts based on the clitellum. Yes, we can. Definitely we can. Body divisions. Let me show you. See, very basic. Pre-clitellar pre segments, clitellar segments and the post-clitellar segments. Easy. Let me show you. See, this is the pre-clitellar segment. Now let me show you the clitellar segments and then the post-clitellar segment. Easy? Yes or no? Of course, yes. Great. Now first, let me talk about the pre clitellar segment. Got it? Well, very important again. pre clitellar segments is what we are talking about prostomium. Pe sorry, I'm very sorry. It is peristomium. Okay, prostomium. Fine. First segment present in the first segment. It contains the mouth and the prostomium. Now it's prostomium. Okay. Peristomium, which is the portion, the first segment I'm talking about. Note it again. Peristomium, first segment. It contains what? The mouth and the prostomium. Now, what is this? Prostomium. Let me show you. Prostomium, it's sensory in function. Note here properly. Do you see the mouth? Do you see the prostomium? Yes. Correct. Now, Take a close look and properly anterior and consists of the mouth and the prostomium, which is a lobe. Do you see it's a lobe, right? It serves as a covering for the mouth, covering for the mouth. And also, you know, it serves as a wedge to force open the cracks in the soil. Multifunctional as a, it acts as a covering for the mouth, the prostomium, and also as a wedge to force open the cracks present in the soil through which, you know, the earthworm can move. Correct? Okay. Earthworm may crawl through those cracks. It also is sensory in function. Very important functions, right? Well, so we are talking about, you now you know about the clitellum. pre clitellar segment, there the first segment we talked about the peristomium. There what we talked about the mouth and the flap. Okay. The lobe. It's the prostomium. Got it? Now let's move on. Great. Now, pre clitellar segments, again, we are talking about spermatical apertures are present. Spermatical apertures are present. Nothing but pores. These are the pores. What are they? Ventrolateral in position. Ventral. Okay. Ventrolateral in position. Great. Look. Ventral view. This is the ventral view. Do you see the spermatical pores present here? Fine. Four pairs. Can you see four pairs of these spermatical apertures which are present or associated, located, located in the ventrolateral position? Fine. Okay. Now, where are they present? On the intersegmental grooves, fifth to the ninth segment. Okay. So, all the segmentation, where are these things located is very important. You study about the clitellum. Where is it located? Now you studied about the spermatical apertures. Where are they present? Fifth to the ninth segment. Got it? Fine. Clear? Take it slowly. Well, female genital pore present in the mid ventral line of the 14th segment. It's present in the 14th segment. Great. See the female pore. Got it? Fine. Let's move on. So this was about the pre- clitellar segments. Now let's talk about what? The clitellar segments, of course. Fine. Let's see. The clitellum in mature worms, present in the mature worms, prominent dark band. You see, it's quite dark. It's a clitellum. Very important. 14th to the 16th segment. 14th to the 16th segment. And they have the glandular tissues, of course. Well, so function secretes mucus and they help during the reproduction process. They secrete mucus and help in the during the reproduction process. Fine. Got it. That's about the clitellar segments. So we talked about the pre clitellar segment. Next, we talked about the clitellar segment. Now we are going to talk about the post clitellar segment.
postglital segment. Let's see what are they, what do they have? See the male genital pores are present over here, a pair present on the ventrolateral side. We have already said about this, where are the, where these male genital pores present? It's present on the ventrolateral side. Got it? Okay. So present on the 18th segment. I'm telling you repeatedly, please note these down. Where are these located? So male genital pores present on the 18th segment. Okay. Post segments present as a post segment and exactly on the 18th segment. Got it? Well, now let me talk about few which are common to all segments. These are something which are common to all segments. Nephridiophores. Nephridio, not four. Nephridiopores. Okay, these are known as the nephridiopores, part of the excretory system. So, of course, they will help in excretion. They help in expelling the nitrogenous wastes. So nitrogenous wastes are expelled through these nephridiopores. Pores, nephridiopores, okay? Do you see the pores that's present in the image? I've labeled it for you. Great. Can you locate it? Fine. 